a country western song in the Bible. Welcome to Bible on the Go with Dr. Dan. The book of Ecclesiastes is quite the book, and it's so unique in the Bible uh, because it starts off just like a lot of country songs we've heard. Meaningless, meaningless, everything is meaningless. Well, that's a major part. I mean, the introduction is so in your face. You're like, what? What is this happening? What's he talking about? So the book of Ecclesiastes was written around 1000 BC during the reign of Solomon. The writer is Solomon, and he even tells you, I was king in Jerusalem, right? It's positioned in the Bible. It's the 21st book in the Bible and the fourth of the poetical books. Now, like I said, meaningless. Everything is meaningless. This first section from chapter one to chapter three is the search for meaning. And it's quite interesting because Solomon's like, I decided I was so wise that I would, I would see, I would test myself with all these things, good things, bad things, all kinds of things. And the search for meaning is not to be found by human effort. Human reasoning is not adequate to, to find meaning. But we get in this a shift where he does start to share a lot of practical advice, like a lot of wisdom because he's the wisest man that ever lived. But in the middle of discovering there's no, I can't discover meaning on my own, we get some practical advice. Like in Ecclesiastes 3, 1, there is an occasion for everything and a time for every activity under heaven. Well, that's probably the most often quoted verse in the broader culture, like at graduations and city council meetings and things like that, because they can check the block that they read from the Bible, but say thing, something that's just really basic and practical, right? Well, as you move on in the book from chapter four to chapter seven, we discover, hey, frustrations are everywhere throughout life. They can't be avoided. And he goes to the trouble of listing all the things that, that are, just, are just problems and frustrations that mankind encounters. And uh, it's interesting in chapter seven where he says frustrations can teach us wisdom. And of course, that's wise too, isn't it? And then the last four chapters, he gets kind of positive by saying, "Live here's how to live a life of wisdom, like how to devote your life to being wise. Uh, he mentions, for example, the reality that it will not be well with the wicked, uh, that that certainly doesn't work out for people. And man cannot find out all the ways of God that's also true, right? And death is inevitable. So it might seem like he's still negative, but he is trying to give you tools for managing through all the ups and downs and lots of downs and some ups of life, right? And then we come to my favorite verse, which as you might imagine is the final conclusion of the matter in Ecclesiastes 12, 13. It's the verse before the end. Right before the end, there's one verse after this, but Ecclesiastes 12, 13 says this, having heard everything, I have reached this conclusion. Fear God and keep his commandments because this is the whole duty of man. Well, we discover in the Old Testament that that is even hard to do. It's a noble goal for sure, but thank goodness when we get to the new, Jesus comes to take our sin away and to give us a purpose. And so when we read it, we have on a Christian lens. Fear God and keep his commandments, no problem, because he took all my sins away, now I can live for him, and this is the whole duty of man. Praise God! Thanks for watching Bible on the Go, Dr. Dan. If you like these videos, one of the best things you can do is hit that button called subscribe. You only have to do it once and it doesn't cost a single thing. In my description below, you will find a link to my book on Revelation, Future Without Fear, Celebrating Victory in Revelation. Thanks to all of you who watch 
and for all of you who share the videos and tell your friends about it. And while you're doing so, you might notice that below each video is a link to my merch shop, hoodies and coffee cups and tote bags and ball caps. I mean, lots of fun stuff that's available to support the channel. Thank you very much. Praise God.